Hello and welcome to Reviews of Ryan and today we talk about the brand new horror film called The Curse. This film was directed by Sean Ellis and he's done two other films. He's done one film called Anthropod and Metro Manila. I've never seen either of them so I don't really know what those films kind of entice or what they're about but I was interested to see what this guy would do on screen and how he would direct this film. And if you like movie reviews and Blu-ray hauls, you're in the right spot. Hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, and comment below. Have you heard of this film and are you interested in seeing this film? In rural 19th century France, a mysterious, possibly supernatural menace threatens a small village. John McBride, a pathologist, comes to town to investigate the danger and exercise some of his own demons in the process. The film stars Boyd Holbrook, Kelly Riley, Roxanne Duran, Nigel Betts, Stuart Bowman, Amelia Crouch, Mac McIntosh, and Tommy Roger. So The Cursed popped up on my radar a couple weeks ago. I didn't see the trailer, but I saw that it was going to be a wide release and I saw what the premise was going to be and I thought, oh boy, this is going to sound like it's going to be some kind of wolf movie, maybe a generic kind of movie. And honestly, I was very wrong going into this. My thought process was that this was probably not going to be the best film. And honestly, I was really wrong and really surprised. This is one of the most darkest, murkiest kind of horror films I've seen all year so far. So to start off with my positives of this, this film. I really love the setting in this film. I love the cinematography. It really sets the mood in this. There's this dreary, foggy, depressing kind of tone and they do a really good job setting the film up. The first act is really dark and I really love how they set up the film and get everything going. And I just love the costumes in this. I love time period pieces. I'm a sucker for these kinds of films. And anytime there is a really good setting and mood, and even some of the shots on this through the woods and just the score that flows with it, it has that really depressing element that you look for in every kind of horror film. And it really nails it. I really have to give props to who did this score and just really set a really good tone. And then I also would like to mention the special effects. I thought they were pretty good and pretty done well on this. And I also appreciate the fact that in this film, even though there is a creature involved, they do a really good job of holding off and not showing you the creature right away. I think that's very important with the film because you have to build that suspense throughout the film. And if you're showing the creature right off the bat, kind of like how Antlers did if you watched antlers that was something that i critiqued and didn't really like about that film because once you show that creature and once you show everything that is possessed with that creature it really takes away from the film and i really appreciated that they didn't have this creature right off the bat showing the audience and because they didn't do that it really set that tone and really set that suspense of what is this creature and what does it want? And as far as negatives go for this film, and really I don't really have a ton of negatives with this film, but some of these things that I'm mentioning could be problems for others. First off, this film is a slow burn film and I had two other people in the theater with me and they ended up tapping out and not liking the pacing of this film probably and they did not finish the film and that could be a problem for some. And then obviously the characters in this are not very well developed, but even though they're not very well developed, I didn't have a problem with it because I knew that this film was not so much a character study and it really doesn't affect the film as a whole because the way that this film is kind of designed, you don't really need fully developed characters to the full extent for some of them because the film just takes over with the tone and shots and the creature and the film is very much focused on this creature. Wrapping up my final thoughts on this film, it's a very artsy film. It has a really good setting, really good tone. It's a slow burn film and it's not a film where you have a lot of character study and it's not also a film that has a lot of kills, but when the kills come, they're pretty good. It's bloody, it's not a gory film. It has a really good score and a pretty good effects and pretty good acting for the most part. 
I really praise this film and I'm gonna give a score of this film a four out of five. I highly recommend if you like artsy kind of films, if you like what I've said in this review and it seems like it's interesting to you, I would check it out in theaters. Thank you guys for checking out this review and I'll see you guys on my next one.